high dose intravenous vitamin C could be the most underutilized complementary cancer treatment, but could also be the most studied one. In this video, we will look at the latest information from IVC clinical trials. Before we end, I will detail four clinical trials that show this treatment can't be ignored. I am Olina Ivanova, Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. As of 2023, 71 preclinical and 34 clinical trials were completed that researched using high-dose intravenous vitamin C as a cancer treatment. Dr. Lewis Cantley, the former director of the Cornell Cancer Center and current Harvard Medical School professor, did a great job summing up the research in an article he co-authored for the National Cancer Institute. In that article, Dr. Cantley said, virtually all studies show improved quality of life for cancer patients by minimizing pain and protecting normal tissues from toxicity caused by chemotherapy. Additionally, vitamin C showed synergistic effects when combined with radiation and standard chemotherapies. These studies have been producing tremendous results. This has encouraged the National Cancer Institute to increase their investment in this treatment. In the last few years, NCI has provided a 10 million grant to the University of Iowa Holden Cancer Center to fund several phase two trials using IBC. And they also support research efforts from other top cancer centers like the Mayo Clinic. When you lay out these data from the 71 preclinical trials, the facts show that a positive result was achieved 92% of the time. IVC was synergistic or enhanced effectiveness of chemo drugs like caproplantin, chloroambucil, 5-FU, gemcitabine, temozolomide, as well as synergy with immunotherapy treatments. Additionally, high-dose IVC has been shown to have radiosensitizing effect on cancer cells while protecting healthy cells. These positive results have carried over to clinical trials that include patients with a variety of cancer types. I will cover four examples of great results from this promising treatment. But for those that want to read more, we also included links to the studies in the description. The first example is a phase one clinical trial that included advanced pancreatic cancer patients. IVC was administered with fractionated radiotherapy and gemcitabine. The combination was potent. Including IVC in the cancer therapy delivered an overall median survival rate that doubled historical median rates of the same treatment without IVC. Furthermore, following the treatment with IVC, two patients' tumors shrank enough to become eligible for surgery to remove the tumor. The author stated that IVC offers protection from radiation damage in normal surrounding tissues, making it an optimal agent for potentially improving locally advanced pancreatic adenocarcinoma. The researchers proceeded to a phase two trial our next example is phase one trial that included stage four pancreatic cancer patients receiving IVC, gemcitabine, and erlotinib. After eight weeks of treatment, 88% of patients experienced a decrease in primary tumor size. The researchers noted these are incredible results that are superior to gemcitabine alone or gemcitabine plus erlotinib. The third example is for an ongoing phase two clinical trial that includes stage 3b and four non-small cell lung cancer patients receiving IVC, paclitaxel, and carboplantin. The published evidence shows that IVC massively improves the disease control rate to 93% 
Historically, paclitaxel and carboplantin without IVC delivered only 40% disease control rate. The authors summarize their findings by stating, we demonstrate that pharmacological ascorbate, which is vitamin C, represents an easily implementable and non-toxic agent that may increase treatment efficacy when combined with standard of care radio chemotherapy in NSCLC. The final example is a phase 1 2A randomized clinical trial that compared results of a group of patients with ovarian cancer that were given high dose vitamin C with carboplantin and paclitaxel versus a group only administered carboplantin and paclitaxel. The results showed that the group receiving IVC had longer progression free survival overall survival and experience substantially decreased toxicities from the chemo. The researchers noted IVC has an outstanding safety profile, is capable of killing cancer cells without harming normal tissues, and proved to enhance chemosensitivity of ovarian cancer and reduce toxicity of chemotherapy. For many years, high-dose IV vitamin C has been labeled an alternative cancer treatment, but studies completed in the last decade are providing and proving that IVC can belong in the standard treatment protocol toolkit. Major cancer centers like Johns Hopkins, Mayo Clinic, Sloan Kettering, and Holden Cancer Center are, are presently conducting studies to make even more progress. We hope you found this information useful. If so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. You can access links to referenced articles and studies in the video description. For those interested in pursuing this treatment, you can schedule a no-cost consultation by selecting the link to the personalized medicine website. Would you like to understand how high-dose IVC actually kills cancer cells? Please select the icon in the upper right to check out our video explanation. Thank you everyone for watching our video. We wish you the best of health, stay strong and informed.